IDP came up out of insurgency. That was why IDP came up. Initially, we never had IDP in Nigeria, but IDP came up out of insurgency, so that's why they, they looked for a place for them to sit so that government could help them. A lot of them have gone back. Like me, I'm from Meduguri, I'm from Borno State, so um, I'm a direct, I felt it directly. They killed my uncles, so I lost a lot of people. But people were able to go back to the village now. Like my granny, she's in the village now. Well, someone like me, I don't want to go there because I feel it's not safe. So IDP came up because of all these things, but we hope things are going to get better for, for all of us, for Nigerians. Okay, so we're here, we're actually trying to, we're thinking about visiting maybe two to four camps today of IDP, we call them IDP, uh, which is internally displaced persons or people. Um, so when there is the attack, for instance, of Boko Haram, and individuals have nowhere to go, they're in these camps, they live in these camps um, as a location that, you know, perhaps they could be a little safer, but this is also where I hope to see um, children and talk to them about their dreams and what happened perhaps but I don't really know what I'm going to find so we're just we're just gonna go out and start shooting And these children are displaced from everything. Okay. Yeah. 
We'll walk down here. And where are we going now? Use Reggie. Okay. Okay. Because okay. up there where the offices were and where the school was. Okay. Yeah, I'm on over town. Okay. Yes, so his name is um, Philemon. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yes, he's from the um, Sadiqal government. Okay. So we have a large number of those that we here. Okay. From, um, from the home state. Okay. Yeah, and the insurgency has really, really affected them so much. Yes. So, but they're really trying with the yeah, school that they have. Okay. So what are we doing next? Are there some children that we can or cannot talk to? We or can how do talk we... to them. So okay. we're getting the girls assemble and the boys. Okay. Yeah, he's going to get someone that will call the girls. Well, okay. The lady in charge uh -huh. was, uh, just traveled to me. Uh, okay. Yeah, she's not around, but we're going to get someone. Okay. Assemble the young girls, her age group. Okay. Yeah, and then we can work with them. We have many things that we are not happy for here because this place is not is not good for us to live in. But God leave us to we are living now. We are saying thank God. But for here, many problems that we are facing. Firstly, we don't have food to eat, and then we don't have clothes to wear. Some they are children; they not get school to go. Nobody they help them, and then there are many widows and the offer. They know nobody can help them because of they kill their father, they kill their everywhere. They go anywhere place. We don't have anybody to help us. Some some they are sitting we are not together with our family now. Just because we are living with our aunties and with our neighbors. The problem for here, we don't have perfume, even perfume to to bath now, we don't have it. As we take this side, we don't get the fruit because they don't make it. We don't know why the problem, and then nobody can help us. We they find place and go back now, and then we don't have somebody to help us to carry us to go school. As me now, I don't get work to do, but I'm sit down. But I'm thank God, somebody come to take me to go school. But now I don't finish my secondary school. I'm thank God for that one. But now I don't. Get work to do. That's my story. Thank you. Thank you. I say for Boko Haram for show us to come out from our place. Mm -hmm. The time Boko Haram enter our place, mm -hmm. they pursue us without any tumor. We go, we run, go far. We are running, no food or no water to drink. We suffer. We suffer too much because of the the problem because bo if you are running my boko around they go follow you go the place mm. we, but thank god we don't enter Komaru. nobody touch us again we are saying thank god but many people they kill us they kill our parents myself they kill our neighbors many children they, they don't pack them go this thing go mm. They pack all our children, that small, small one. Even my sister, they carry her go, they, they carry her go forest. We don't know where where she am now. Where is the problem? My parents. But since I'm this small, my mother don't die. But now I'm not getting mother. But I have father. But the father, I know they help me. Same, same, 
I feel very sad to leave my village because when we are in the village, we go to the bush and find something to eat, play all around in the, in our place. But here, we will be no use to have chance to go anywhere. We'll just be living in the camp, nobody. But we, we are saying thank you for the people that are coming to help us. I don't want to live in this camp here. I want to go back to my state. We were living happy and we don't, we don't have anything that will disturb us like malaria. But as insurgents is coming to our place, we ran and we went into Cameroon. When we went to Cameroon and we did three days on the road, we came to Abuja here. Then we met our father here. I want to go back to my state. And why? Why do you want to go back? Because anything that I do in my village, I am thinking about it here. What are you thinking when all of this is going on? What are you I'm thinking? I'm thinking about my, my state. And what do you think about that? What's going on with that? Because I'm, I'm not happy staying here. I, want, I, I need to go back to my village. I remember that the time that I was in the village, I was, I was happy. I came here, I was, I'm not happy. There are some people that have killed them. What makes you happy in your village? I'm playing with my friends, but here now, I, I don't know where, where I live. Mm -hmm. that Boko Haram insurgents had destroyed our uh, local government. They pursue everybody. They kill any person that they miss. That's why we don't have come here. So that's what happened um, beforehand. And then afterwards, how is it being here? Now that you're here, how do you feel about being here? Are you glad that you're here out of, out of the way in another area? Or how do you feel about that? <laughs> what word do you feel? You stay with him. What word do you feel? Um, happy? Okay? Sad? Sad. Sad. Yes. Okay. I want to go back to somewhere. I want to go back to even go somewhere. But I don't want to stay. Why? Because this, the place is very cold. And every season, people fall sick because of the cold weather. And what is your name? What is your name? Mary. Mary, I love that name. My middle name is Marie. Mm -hmm. Close. <laughs> so tell me about your story. What's your story? Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Me for some curry. Get away. Get us away. You know, my winky, the winky. Snana. Snana. You know, my parent. You know, my parent. 